this is Samsung's R540 laptop. You know the machine from before. I will add an SSD to the machine. And welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Digital Black Magic channel. My name is Christoph Esch, and as stated before, we're going to put an SSD into the laptop. I created an image of the current hard disk and put it onto the SSD, which is an ADATA 240 gigabytes. SSD. Without further ado, let's swap the drive. First of all, we need to remove the battery because we need the machine to be out of power. This is a precaution move which I do with any computer I work with. One of the lids has HDD engraved into it, so this lid protects the hard drive. We want to change the hard drive, therefore this lid must be opened and that is what I do with the screw driver. I loosened both screws, they are still stuck in the mounting, so I turn the computer around and catch them when falling out. After that I place them into the magnet ball. The hard disk is sitting upside down and you just need to pull the tab firmly this will disconnect the drive from the interface. The good news is that you can fit any hard disk, any laptop hard disk to be precise, because the height of the disk is irrelevant due to the fact that the interface is flush to the tray. Dismantling the tray from the hard disk and putting the hard disk away, I can mount the SSD. Keep in mind that these little screws are not made to keep the drive firmly in place, but they are made to keep it in place. One disadvantage of this medium sized tray is that the far end of the hard drive is not supported by any mechanism or screw. In our case, that's not a big deal because the SSD is very light. Reseating the hard drive, or in this case the SSD of course, is a personal challenge. But as you can see, even I can manage that, so you can as well. Once the seating of the SSD is double checked and confirmed, I place the lid on top of the drive bay and screw it in. My screwdriver's tip is a bit wide, that's why the Phillips head screws don't grab as easily as they should. Now what's left to do is to put the battery in its place, open the laptop and do a function check. The system should boot just fine. As you can see, Windows is starting up very quickly, so the clone of the hard drive was successfully done. I will return the hard drive which I extracted from the laptop to the laptop's owner. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see similar content. And you are very welcome to leave a comment. Have a nice day.